Or if you like these videos, like, so silly comments, share, support the channel. I think the videos are boring too, but I gotta defend myself, as I said. The, the kind of shit that I wake up to, you know, I can see it with a smile on my face, but I'm cringing inside. Let's look at this guy. So I made these recent videos exposing this guy and this guy. Bro, I think you're a bit out of pocket on this one. Fleet never said you're faking anything. He even backed you as a matter of fact. So you're kind of wrong on this one. Did he even look at the messages? Did, did, this, did, do you really, the people that try to talk shit about me and say that I'm on, did they even read the messages? I showed the guy is going around and lying about me. He's been blocked for how long now? He's even friends and he talks to that one guy. If you go and look at the messages, go and look look on Twitter. I have nothing to hide. Are they going to say I hacked their Twitter? He's talking with the one guy and they're talking about, do you remember it was like a year or two ago? Those guys were trying to say that I faked the Vegito Banshee Blast combos and I was lying to people how to do it. And they made multiple videos on their YouTube trying to say that I lied how to do it. Because they couldn't do it. That's how fucking retarded these guys. So this guy, he, he doesn't even bother to watch it, I guess. So I blocked him. An emergency C-section was required. You were removed. I don't care if you post on my channel. You're an idiot. Or is this one thing? Oh, yeah, he, he doesn't go around talking shit about you. The guy just made a fucking hour-long video talking shit about me. I didn't even watch it, right? Gym chips. Apparently in his gym tips... There's some mental gymnastics, as kids say. This guy has been going around talking shit about me for I don't know how many months, years, whatever. He's been blocked for a long time. And this guy just said... He doesn't talk shit about you. He never said a fake thing. Dude, he just made... Is any going to... I'm not even going to watch this hour longer. The last time I tried to watch an hour long video of a guy exposing me, during that fucking Vegito Discord idiot... He made an hour-long video exposing me, and right at the beginning he said, I'm not going to show what started all of this because it's not relevant. He purposely made a video where he cut out all of them talking shit about me and said it's not relevant and just showed me talking shit back to them. Uh, do, do you realize? I, I personally think he needs mental help. You think that I hacked everything, I time travel. Who needs mental help, dude? Look, look at this. He lives in his own fantasy world. Butt monger, the guy who's been caught lying how many times? Do we need to see how long this guy's been caught? Remember when this guy was trying to tell everyone that, oh, after he got caught lying, he's like, well, my mom died of cancer. Clayton fakes it. Where, where did I ever fake anything? Can anyone show me where I faked all this stuff? I just showed my fucking medical record again. There's not even depression listed because I'm not like you guys, dude. Look, look at this. Clayton is a scrub who doesn't even know how to play Dragon Ball Fighter Z, please know this. You mean the game where almost everything in the entire game is from me and you can look it up? He fakes illnesses for intention. What are you talking about? I never faked anything. He makes up results of matches that never happened and he claims to have won. Where? Haven't I showed the proof? Didn't I just recently play a video game for the first time in three years and I got second at a tournament? Well, not even playing good, I didn't feel good. I don't wonky control against people that play the game seriously. It was the most that I've even played the game in 10 years. And I got second in a tournament that people play the game seriously. First time playing in three years. Pretty sure, what was it? He left FGC because he was laughed out of his local scene. I won my last tournament, local tournament. I was still winning tournaments across the country when I left. Did you, did you see this kind of shit? Who is the one that is mentally ill here? And I've showed proof of it, right? And this guy's like, oh, please, you know, I responded back to this video. If you want the whole story, please. The whole story of what? <laughs> I showed what happened. Jesus Christ, dude. That, that's crazy. You made an hour-long video talking about another guy, and I'm, I'm going to imagine you said absolutely nothing. Do you talk about how I hacked more medical records, apparently, according to you? What other kind of mental shit are you talking about? And, uh, where, where's this one? And so I blocked this dude. He legit blocked me because I don't agree with his words. There's nothing to agree with. You're a fucking idiot. I don't care if you watched my channel before. Yeah, like, so this guy, he was mad that I called Buttmonger out on him trying to use his mom had cancer and died as an excuse. And so that's my fault? He brought it up. I don't give a fuck that your mom died. And he's trying to say, I'm in the wrong for saying I don't give a fuck that your mom died. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if your mom dies, Flo Jackson. I don't give a fuck. It has nothing to do with video games. 
Dude's going around making up lies about me, about serious shit, about me dying in a hospital, bragging how it made them money. And then when they get caught lying to try to flip the story, they're like, oh, wait, well, my mom died. Feel bad for me. And you are fucking proof that that actually works on people. Some people actually feel bad. Guess what? Lots of people have bad things that happen to them. Did, did, did I, I've told the story about my dad. You know what I mean? I told my dad he was going to die. Boom, he wouldn't shot himself anyway. I didn't see him pull the trigger, but I saw the blood on the floor. That's a pretty fucking crazy story. Again, just that face value, it's crazy. But the thing is, it has nothing to do with video games. It doesn't bother me as an adult. You know what I mean? Because I've grown up. And this is what I want to get into a psychological thing too. And I've talked about these in some of the more psychological videos. But, you know, just before we get into that. This shit that people try to complain about has nothing to do with video games. Any excuse you guys have doesn't matter. It does has nothing to do with video. Look at the excuses I have and look at all the tournaments I won. Okay? You know what I mean? But I talk about I've talked about this a little bit before in like the kind of psychological social study kind of vlogs. You know what I mean? I told the story before, you know, my brother, they found him hanging. He lived. Then they found him in the middle of the road. He tried to get run over. He was butt naked, I guess. Wasn't there. I didn't see it. But you know what? Do you think I feel bad for my brother? I'm going to be honest. I don't. My brother is a fucking Looney Tune. And I realized stuff like this when I grew up. Just like when my mom, she used to let her boyfriends abuse me, right? And then my mom said, you know, I guess she's bipolar and manic depressive, so she doesn't remember it. Which, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know if I fucking believe that. To be honest with you, but hey. My mom did a lot of fucked up stuff and she just told people she was manic depressive and bipolar so she doesn't remember it. Okay, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a big reason that I am the way that I am because you know what? When I saw the way my family was, you know what I mean? I was like, I don't want to be like them. That's why if you even look at me and my brothers, me and my brothers, we don't look like each other. I don't really look like anyone in my fucking family because you know what? I did not want to be like my family whatsoever, right? And I've told these stories too. I remember growing up, and I guess to people if they watch my channel, one of the only quotation marks, I guess you could say, happy people in the whole entire family was my uncle. And I was basically brought up to be afraid of my uncle, I would say, right? And I'm not saying my uncle is a great person because I don't know him that well, but definitely as a child... I can even remember there was like an idea to be afraid of my uncle, actually. And, you know, maybe he was a bad guy in some ways, right? I mean, definitely a lot of people in my family, you know, they were not great people. But, you know, and then as I got older, I realized that my uncle is the only person that ever seems to be happy. And I realized that I think a lot of people in my family, they hated my uncle because he's not miserable. You know what I mean? He wasn't depressed. He made money. I mean, my that uncle, you know what I mean? He's kind of estranged from the family, I guess you could say almost. But every now and then we'll see him like once a year or something like that. But he basically left the family behind and he makes good money. He fucking owned an airplane, multiple houses. You know, I think he had a house in Hawaii, he had a house in America. I guess that's both America, but, you know, different houses in different states and everything like that. Owns airplanes, all that kind of shit. And, you know, he, uh, again, I, I, I guess we, never, we don't really talk, but, and again, this isn't me saying he's a great person because I don't know him that well, but, you know, even he, he had his kid stolen from him when he was younger. He had a kid when he was younger and the kid was stolen from him, right? So he's definitely, and I vaguely remember the kid as a kid, right? Because I have vague memories as a child, but I do vaguely remember the kid, right? And of course, there's pictures of us together, but, you know, he told me a story that, he eventually just had to move on, right? And he told me some stories like this too. And I remember when they found my other uncle, right? They found my other uncle hanging and he ended up dying. And I remember he told me this story as a kid. And he was like, yeah, they found him hanging. And he left the note that he has no family. And that uncle was, uh, that uncle was in a, a really bad accident, actually. I don't know if I ever said that part, but he was kind of disfigured from it. Um... But anyway, the point is he killed himself. And this this is it's kind of a terrible story, actually, right? But it's a very blunt conversation. And when you get older, you need to be able to have blunt conversations. And, you know, my uncle was saying when they found him hanging, 
and he had all these bills and everything like this, I guess. And I guess my uncle was saying something like they wanted him to sign off on all these bills for the guy that was dead, the uncle that was dead, right? And he's like, I'm not going to sign this. You know what I mean? And he's like, he made his choice. You know what I mean? If we're not family, we're not family. Because he had written a written note that I don't want to be anything part to do with my family. Anyway, the long, the long story short is it, it's incredibly cold. It is an incredibly cold story. But the life lesson was my uncle was like, he made his choice. He decided to kill himself. That's his choice. And that's something that I've always think about with my family now too. You know, my mom... She doesn't remember letting her boyfriends abuse me. She tells stories. It's like, is she manic depressive, bipolar? Maybe she is, you know, eh, okay. I just accept it and there's no love loss to say what I, I don't feel love for my family. You know what I mean? Like I said, how much I even believe that stories that my mom says. That's why I generally, you know, we don't talk. Least amount of talking is possible. My middle brother that they found him hanging. You know, then they found him. He tried to get himself run over. If he kills himself, eh, eh. and you know what? That sounds incredibly cold, but you know what? As I grew older and everything like that, as I've actually been dying in the hospital, I mean, Jesus Christ, do you know what it's like to be dying and have a real problem, not a fucking mental problem? Do you know what it's like to be dying? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not good. Do you know the kind of health problems I have? You know what I mean? No fucking mental illness is going to save me from those health problems, dude. So, you know, I realize that I have to be the best person I can be. I don't want to be like my family either, right? You know, my, my middle brother, man, he's a fucking loony tin, dude, right? You know what I mean? It, you can only you know, talk about killing yourself so many times, you know, before it's like, okay. If you're going to kill yourself, I accept that. Maybe one day you'll go through with it. Okay. You, you know what I mean? I mean... Okay, <laughs> right? Do you know what I mean? That is my perspective on life. You can only talk about... Some, I don't want to say it's almost like a boy that cried wolf or something because I'm not trying to say that no one has problems. But sometimes people talk about problems and they act like you don't have any problems, right? We all have problems to different varying degrees. But do you have to blame your problems on other people and lie about it? That's when you have a fucking problem. And I don't fucking respect people like that. You know, I, I've heard, you know... Again, talk about that middle brother again. I don't really talk about him much, but you know, I, I've seen him make up lies about me, and it's like, you know what? I, I'm a grown man now. We're both grown men. If you're gonna make up lies about me, it's not like we are close anyway. So if you kill yourself, you know, I just I don't I don't want to hear about it. I don't I don't care. All right, go kill yourself. I just mean, and that sounds cold, but it's just like you know what? I'm an adult. We all have lives to live. I got a lot of fucking problems in my life. I've showed my, my medical record. There, there are a lot. My life is not that great. There's a lot of fucking problems. And I don't lie about people because of it. And you know what I mean? This guy's like, oh, you're both in the wrong. What am I in the wrong about? You think I'm in the wrong for saying I don't give a fuck that his mom died? I don't. Sounds like you give a fuck that his mom died. Which I think is weird because he made up all these lies about me, encouraged other people to lie about me for profit, bragged about how it made him popular. Then when he got caught doing it, he tried to say, oh, well, my mom died. Feel bad for me. And idiots like you feel bad for him when I say I don't give a fuck that your mom died, that I should still feel bad? Why? <laughs> what the fuck? What is your problem? I don't give a fuck if your mom dies. We all have our own life to live. And we don't have to take our lives out on other people. Right? I mean, this is, it, it's insane, dude. Right? But I responded to your video. I made an hour-long video. I think that you hack your hospital records. I think everything you did was fake. Are, are you fucking serious? I think you're about a pocket. He's never said you faked anything. He even backed you. He backed me. The guy constantly goes around talking. Did, do you even look at it or do you just randomly say shit? Right? Do you see that? Do you see how mentally ill people are? It's fucking crazy, dude. Get a fucking real problem, dude. Seriously.